What's up? This is HD News Tech. So I got the results for the, I mean, for the, you know, for the state, of course, for my state, uh, they're sending the state home order until June for Illinois. And, um, yeah, it's, it's not the best to deal with, with this outbreak of this virus. And, uh, this is a picture of Italy, um, you know, copyright free, of course, because I searched on Google and got one I could use in these videos. So, uh, it can be monetized in this video, and I got it on my phone as well. And I think this is like a poor place of Italy. It's like a cheaper, to where my mom's family is originally from, from like closer to Rome. Maybe a little bit below. Oh, I gotta fix, I gotta fix this. All right, I'm back. I had to address my Max, um, um, you know, the setting to keep, basically for the screen to turn off. It was turning off at a minute, and I wanted it off for a reason like yesterday. And um, now it's set forward, so it should work. So um, it stays basically getting worse. And, uh, you know, I was working, you know, Saturday, you know, doing my normal carts and wherever else and and then my dad you know came up and you know working you know he's doing wherever around here and he you know was thinking about moving me down to my aunt's house uh just really wanted to do it for at least we thought about this about five weeks ago or more um uh, because i had arthritis and i had a lot of hard time uh, getting down and bending down for like months on end, basically without relief, and um, we finally put me on a treatment. And I asked my uh, doc my doctor about this over the phone, of course, because we're not allowed to go into doctor offices at the moment. We had to call me over my all on my phone itself, so took a little longer than normal. But he put me on like a steroid, so I got. Uh, watch my mood because they can interfere, but I've always been good lately, so for years, and it's fine. I just, you know, just some of those stories do that. So, uh, it should deal with the inflation, you know, like the in, like in, it's basically inflamed, as he said, and it would help with that really good. And, um, it took, it started merely working. Took it right before I got to work, at least in the last 20 minutes prior to it, or less, and I uh, started working with food and everything. And, uh, yeah, I definitely improved the joint in a lot of ways, but there's still another four doses, up to three pills uh, daily. You know, like once a day, basically, as it says. And, uh, it has improved it. The back has definitely felt better, and, uh, the culprit probably for this is, one, it is age, two, there were bleeds, complications with hemophilia in the past, that led to bleeding that weren't controlled in the past in certain locations, so they'll be kind of, you know, vulnerable to these kind of flare-ups with this arthritis and whatever else it is, and then, um, three is... It's just flared up. That's all it basically is. I have to deal with it basically. In the cold weather, it's the worst part of it. And uh, that's something my dad uh, doesn't want to, you know. There's also the thing that my family member, too, is my, my dad's, um, you know, sister's uh, boyfriend. He seems to be Aryan down there in Naples, Florida. Where they're real down there close. And uh, he basically, uh, you know, really asked my mom. Her, overheard it yesterday. And, uh, you know, like, I don't mind. You can do it, you know. And um, so we got that straightened out. He wants to do it for a while because of the hemophilia. And since I'm turning 30 next year. And I hope this um, virus is done by then. I'll be turned 30 in, in about a year. 
little under a year, not by much. And I'm going to have to get a colonoscopy, and then that's going to be the IV in the arm. And uh, you ain't supposed to sick yourself <laughs> if you're not trained with the factor. And uh, since he works down there, and uh, it's a RN who does the prepping for surgeries, uh, it'd be more likely if this falls, if this succeeds, and then I get down there. At the moment, the whole world is being just overturned by this virus, and uh, uh, there's nothing to do. I mean, Illinois just had a huge spike, and we not we we our state may not peak until June. So uh, it's like I get home, I do some mowing, and then the paints are coming back. I took some rest, and then it feels better. But it will take a while for the inflated muscles and joints to go back where they were before so this started with a really negative cold air jet that was the last bit of the arctic air and that was like negative 20 degrees or more fahrenheit and um that flared them up apparently those months of the cold weather completely hit my joints and they flared up and the back has definitely feels better i can definitely bend down and don't feel it basically ever like since like seven forty in the morning I took the pills. And usually I like taking them quick because with uh steroids they taste really awful, trust me. I've been on them for uh, uh sinus infections. It's also used for Crohn disease, which I hope I don't have. <laughs> but um I don't know. I'm hoping this is just one flare up. That started during the season. I don't need any more of this uh, steroid, basically, because there's just no need to be on it. But also, with the winter, by the time this virus is done, ball will come in close to it, and then our cold temperatures will arrive again, and I'll be in the same boat again with the pain. And uh, that's something that my dad does not want to deal with. And uh, the joints. They were definitely flared up. I mean, I would rest for like two days straight and not have an improvement. Um, it's just terrible pain. I'm, I'm not joking. Numbness in the right foot. Nerve trouble possibly with this uh, inflamed uh, joints and muscles and for sure. And um, they were going to try to do a... We're planning on doing a back x-ray. But um, the back feels a lot better I mean it it was not feeling good I mean it was it was lower over time like it got better but it would still would stay there like a stubborn pain and just stay there and not go away and and then it went towards the hip and down to the lower muscle and all that but apparently I uh, flared up and since the steroids is active hopefully it will slow this thing down and stop it at its tracks because uh, this is like two and a half months of, of severe pain. And um, the cold weather may not be a smart idea to be working up here. And I mean, I mean, my mom's father went more than this. But since I work doing carts, and that puts an incredible load on you, on you when you're pushing carts, you don't even believe how much a load I put in. To do the cards during this crazy, um, you know, time, um, you know, where we're having to deal with a lot of um, food being bought and things, I mean, just being empty, shelves being empty, not being able to restock them for like days or weeks on end. And they finally got the vegetable soup back, I like a lot. Finally, after like a month or so, or three weeks or more. And just how much we've been selling out of soup. I mean, literally. Vegetable beef. The large, cheaper ones that I had. Where I eat like at least part of that. Or depending. I like that a lot. You know, I love that kind of vegetable soup. You know, it's one of my favorites of all, all, all of them. The only one I probably eat the most. And, uh. I only had small ones. And now they're out of the other, um. Uh, microwavable versions of that one so it's it's hitting different shelves and they were 
getting the cheese uh, lately. Toilet paper was the first thing to go. Then there was paper towels. Like, oh my God. As you know, as a worker, we feel the pain. And, um, I mean, we're hoping this virus is done. And, um, and we're taking precautions at our workplace and making sure that we wear a mask because it's there's there's even meat factories around us that are testing positive and then shutting down. That may last for months on end, honestly. And how this honey badger virus is um this is not even the second wave yet. This is like the first wave of it. Now they're saying it's in the toes, like, yeah, and then it was the heart first, I mean, secondly, first was the lungs, and then, like, I mean, if you get it, you'll, maybe 80% of people will survive, but some will not, and, uh, there, my family down there is quarantined, because I guess there's a case down there, there's more, and, um, I think Florida was trying to stop uh, snowbirds like New York from going down there. And if you're from Florida, let me know because uh, in the comments, you know, definitely. As you know, my mom's family were pretty dark. I got some of my complexion still, but not as much as I did before. But I'm still dark in certain locations, like inside. I'll still tan in a Walmart or like a Lowe's or anything. Quite easily more, just when there's... It seems like my skin and we can't really handle the sun, and that might be because I'm on different medicine now. I mean, I'm on high blood pressure medicine. They're seeing a possible uh, cure for this virus, which is not a good sign because I depend on it. And um, I don't know. It, something about them inhibiting, you know, the heart, and I just fill up my my uh, medicine like I get seventy five dollars with my insurance and. Uh, I'm good for a while. Most of that was the inhaler. That was like fifty dollars, and um, it's expensive. I'm for sure for the most expensive insurance. And um, if this becomes a scenario, me moving down there, I'm hoping for it has better insurance for their WalMarts because uh, <laughs> this insurance doesn't really cover the you know the medicines that certain ones that well. And for ninety days, I like pay like twelve dollars. It's like I told my daughter, like, uh, just give me the 30 days. It's the cheapest option. It'd be four bucks for the medicine, for each medicine itself. And, um, yeah, they're waiting on the QVARD, apparently, because my doctor put that in. But I still have at least two months of another inhaler, plus another full one, almost. So, another. So, I'm, I'm fine. So now I just got, you know, two of all inhalers. You know, they're the most well, more expensive one, but more faster working, and more higher dose count, higher counts of you know able to use basically. And that was not cheap when I first got it a couple of years ago. But once the insurance cup kicks in, I usually get my medicine for free for the last few years because the you know, I got a policy for every insurance, you know, company you can apply for and your company applies for. Once you hit that deductible, they usually start paying things. And the doctor visits last year until the first of the year they would cover the full costs of going there and seeing the doctor for sure for, like, asthma or anything else. Thankfully, because I reached the deductible and I paid it, I basically maxed out. And they start covering. So, um... Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below because it could really help me a lot. And I know, I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded for a while. But uh, my family was staying here for, for a while and making me clean my room and house because um, <laughs> I'm having trouble, of course. But I will get back to that as hopefully I get over this pain. It's improved in a lot of ways, but... There's still a little bit there of, you know, infl inflamed muscles, I can tell. It won't be done for a while, and hopefully I only need one dose of it. I can always call them and get another one, and they'll just send it over to Walmart, basically, where I feel it. So that's where I work, of course, but, you know, <laughs> it's a quick way to get here and get there, basically. It's not a very far walk, you know. At the place I'm right now, if I move down there in Florida, I'll have to go right from my 
you know, uh, and and you know, other boyfriend because uh, or or else I learned how to drive and uh, Florida is more busy. I know that, and I'm always like not all much the traffic. I could probably drive on way better than I would in Florida with all the uh, um, crazy traffic. I forgot what way traffic they call it down there. Um, definitely during holiday times, and <laughs> right now probably not because there's there's no one can go out of their houses. <laughs> so hopefully we get over this. I wish China would tell the truth and don't lie to your other countries <laughs> because it's a sin from the Father Himself. Believe me, you cannot be a false witness. I'm sorry. They have lied, and they're going to get judged. <laughs> More than one person, trust me, they're trying to get these lawsuits filed against China, and not and then other, other countries are following the same protocol, not telling the numbers correctly. And I would just think that the U.S. is doing. I would just file these damages, because technically it was their fault for not um, alerting us that this was a huge virus and pretty much a deadly one for sure and a rapid spreading without symptoms and uh they could have told the truth and we could have slammed our borders shut pronto in january but now it's too late it's everywhere now it's in canada it's starting to get up there in canada but canada's not even near the case count for like eight hundred thousand in the u.s or past that actually we're close to a million for the u.s a couple hundred thousand and we'll be there so it's not good to think about but hopefully this is a warning from the lord which is true guess he tests us with these um storms as i did read from on facebook you know, i was one of the baptist uh, you know fathers you know uh this is just a test to see how good people's hearts are really following the lord and um I do have friends who are, say, not always truthful, but you know, I try to obey the Ten Commandments as much as I can, and you cannot hate your neighbor. That's just one of the commandments you can't break, and if you break one, you're still guilty when you die. So uh, just don't do it. Just follow your follow the Lord Jesus Christ because. He's he's coming and um yeah and I did hear from someone I guess it's probably about 2013 it was October the person was dead in March from cancer but the lady was there in the store I mean it was it wasn't like a regular potty it was a glowing like they say in the Bible uh, it was there was no blood and anything like that more like a you know goldish Scan the look and all that, and she did know I was coming around the corner. You know, I'm not gonna say the name, but you know, as you know, she was from here to coin. I mean, <laughs> um, she did predict me having the flu because I right after that I got like the flu shot. Then day, I think it was like like by the time I took the shot, it was like 4 p.m. in October, late, and then by the time midnight came. I think it was so. I pretty much was just throwing up and sick. And yes, he was correct. And then she did say something before the Lord comes. Because, you know, if you're claiming that you're from there, and I, I believe her, of course, because the resurrection body is being done if you don't even know about it at the moment. Um, we're just the ones waiting for the rest of it. He's already resurrecting these people up there right now and getting ready. And I did see her. I wish I had a camera <laughs> back then. Um, I could have took a picture, but the phone would not be in high quality. And I don't know I'd be able to upscale it. But uh, uh, she did predict. She told me that for the little cons, basically, um, I'll be down south, you know, down there. Um, this is before my aunt moved down to Florida. I think she moved down there and I think, 2014. In October, and uh, yeah, this was done like a whole year before that or so. 
if I believe so, the numbers are correct. And um, this predicts all of this from occurring <laughs> more than five, about five, four years ago or more. So, uh, yeah, that's the shockingness of it. And I wish I could find that in the Bible. But that that channel's deleted already. I, I knew it when I was in Florida for like New Year's Day because they canceled the flight. I mean, I knew that channel, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll find it one of these days and look it up, look it up for myself. But you know the drill. Thanks for watching.